Hey everyone, uh, so if you haven't heard, New York Times implemented a paywall recently, and what that is is when you view more than 20 articles in a month, it throws up an overlay onto your page and says, hey, you should buy the premium, like this. Uh, what they didn't do is actually hide the content when you view too many times, because they still want to reap the benefits of the SEO. So, I was on... Read it and I saw this guy posted four JavaScript lines to defeat the New York Times paywall. Basically, just what he did is using their own prototype library, he just hid the two overlays and then set the body back to scroll. Um, I thought that would make a great Chrome extension, so I hopped into it and then I realized that you don't need even need JavaScript to do this. You can do it with two lines of CSS. So. Here it is. Let me just bring it a little bigger for you. We just want to ha ha get the overlay and the gateway creative. Those are the two divs that pop up. We want to display none and set the vi visibility to hidden just in case. And then we just, after that, we just want to set the body back to scroll. They set they set it to uh, not to scroll. Um, so just open up a manifest.json file to make it a Google Chrome extension fill in all of this make sure it matches on New York Times and bring it a little bigger for you again and then we just want to load in our CSS file when you load it so go to your extensions load unpacked extension select the folder that you have it in back to here and refresh it Now the page is fully loaded and we don't get that overlay anymore. You can go around to any other page and we're not going to get that overlay. Um, so that's hidden for now until New York Times finds a better way than CSS to foil everyone. Alright, thanks a lot. See you later.